If he's not, if he doesn't want to come forward, it's hard for me to get the right momentum on this. So the way that I do is that I use a small trick, which is trying to push him, push him so that he pushes me back. As he pushes me back, that's exactly when I'm going to do this. So we are here, okay? Here I want to push him. He pushes me back. Now the hand that was here on the collar tie, I need to go under. Here, off I go. And now what I need to do is to make sure that. I'm starting to turn his direction. Here. Okay. So I go here. My hand comes under, not the shoulder. I cannot have my shoulder. I want to have my hand coming here. Okay. I'm trapping his, um, his arm with my arm. And now I go one, two. Now look what I'm going to do. I can, eat, I can do this, okay, to lift him up. But I prefer to bring one knee down. And I'm looking away. And off I go. So that I can lower the base. There's also a case where I can bring both of my knees to the mat. I don't want to do this. Okay? This personal preference. I prefer just to have one knee down. Here. One thing that I see a lot is that people mixing up the knees. Okay? So if you have your right arm up, your left knee is up. Okay? Here. And now you, you need to get contact with him. And now so that you can do a good turn and throw it. All this is in real time, so if the push 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 if I stop. Okay, I need to get this momentum. Forward push, here inside, knee down, the other knee leg comes over, and now I throw it. Cool everyone? Do you need to see? Yeah? One, two, three.